Hi y'all, it's your guy here, The Unknown, and today I want us to look at something very important. Guys, it's that time of the year, it's just a few days to Christmas, and it's the last week towards Christmas. So, obviously this week and next week will be a little bit messy, because uh, we already know that most of the market movers and the big players are already on vacations, and most of them have already closed, okay? So, uh, the market tends to get a little bit messy during this time of the year, okay? So, what I usually do is I look for scalps because uh one thing i've realized is that uh during this time of the you might feel like okay you are a fool like your setup doesn't work like you don't even understand what you're doing and that is uh normal because it is that time of the year okay so during this time what i usually do is i follow a lot of scalps okay i want to be in and out so what i will suggest is take profit lock your profit get off the screen that's highly 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 important okay so let me share with you a couple of trades i took yesterday and uh obviously uh there were losses but i'm gonna show you everything okay uh, and i'm gonna share with you the psychology behind because as you already know that's the main objective okay i want you to understand the psychology behind okay as you can see this is on gold okay this is gold and i'm gonna share with you uh something nice uh so that you can actually uh be able to see how the week is building okay i'm gonna share with you uh something very important in this video okay so you can stay towards the end it's not even gonna be long okay so guys let's get into it let's get into it as you can see uh we are actually on a week okay here they dumped okay it was friday they dumped prices and then here they gave us an inside day already we know that when this day broke here we have a day one okay we have a day one of breakout and then we have uh something like an inside day and here they broke out we got a day two yesterday okay uh and today it's uh obviously day three okay even on the weekly template is day three but today we have a day three so we have a triangle that that is currently building up so we will see what will happen okay and uh one thing i will say is uh be very very objective don't be subjective don't decide what the market is gonna do i told you even if you have a setup whether it's a three day setup whether it's a day two continuation setup you must be objective okay don't decide for the market what it has to do okay the most important thing is see what is happening and do not argue with the market okay and since you now understand stop hunts that will make things a little bit easier okay as you can see yesterday i took a trade here let me show you what was the psychology behind okay what was the psychology behind i told you during this time of day i look mostly for session scalps and i understand this week there are weeks where they build up they pull you into one direction then they can punish on a friday or else they can keep going so we must be objective okay because anything is possible today they can punish most of the liquidity or they can go up okay however we will see what they do okay during the session time okay let me show you something uh, so that you understand what they are doing you see yesterday we talked about this yesterday uh, in a video that we made yesterday okay before this things happened okay i told you about a session where they pull people up and they pull people up but the difference with this one is there were news and when there were news i don't want to be in the market okay what i usually do is when they are new, when they are news i wait for news to trade and fortunately now the news are actually happening at uh an hour before the equity opens okay so i wait for the news to trade as you can see this is the candle of the news it stopped hunted everybody was in profit from london okay and it came to what it came to uh the closing price of the previous day okay so i understood this as a three session okay this is a three session where they took people up took people up and they are taking people up again but already because they have uh, given a stop hunt i wanted to see which opportunity the news will actually present okay so uh, as i waited remember patience pays i waited for the equity to open and when i waited for the equity to open as you can see i went to a one minute time frame okay i went to a one minute time frame and when i was actually on a one minute time frame there's something i realized okay uh you see they went up and they pumped prices and they pumped prices and they dumped them okay then what did they do they pumped one they pumped two they pumped three where to where to the high of the day remember 
prices are very choppy right now at this time of the year okay so i was observing this very carefully yesterday okay i was observing this very carefully okay when they came back to the high of the day they didn't want to take these guys out obviously i told you i become curious when they do this okay because i know they might be creating liquidity for for for, for later okay so even when i tackle this kind of trades if they hold a level perfectly i want to be very careful okay so what did they do they made an m you see they took prices up and they bought them down then they took them up again so this is an m on a very small time frame okay and then when they gave this last pump you see when they gave this m pattern what did they do they drop prices and got them back into the ema this is where i took my entry and mind you it was already at this level okay i took my entry and i targeted the next area where there is liquidity where there is uh people who are in profit okay and uh, i wanted to treat this as a three session trade but my problem was already they started by stop hunting down and then they engulfed they stop they, they they pinned and engulfed the uh the closing price so guys um uh, operate from the levels okay more especially if you're gonna be scalping because this is highly 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 important okay so i took this one back to the law of the day and it gave me roughly 50 pips okay and i closed it i told you in uh, in the opening of this video that you must take profit okay understand what they are doing and take profit and what did i do i waited for 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 the equity to open i told you i always wait for the equity to open because i don't want to get in before the equity really 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 opens so as you can see when the equity opened it opened right here okay and what did they do still they were taking guys up okay already we have uh, this pin right here and they were taking people up so you must understand when the equity opens it's gonna do one or two one of one of two things it's gonna give a stop hunt or if a stop hunt is already given it's gonna give the real move in this case they gave a stop hunt back to these guys here okay so you must understand that okay when the equity is opening you are expecting a stop hunt and already this market has pinned the low which is a sign that they are never coming back to this uh, to this price level okay so when the equity open i understood that okay who is in profit who is in profit where are they likely to throw the stop hunt and it was down okay so i took this uh trade with understanding and then i was out i never wanted to come back to gold again okay once you take the win get out of it and enjoy your day okay so i took this one yes they came back and did whatever they did but i was not interested okay i took it and i closed gold and i was never coming back to it again i took uh gj so the psychology here is you understand the stop hunt we shared these things we did mentioned that okay when a session opens they are more likely to throw a stop hunt okay when the session opens they are more likely to throw a stop hunt and already uh from the information we got from the charts if you can look carefully okay this is what i've been saying if you look carefully you will realize that okay already they closed everybody at uh who was in profit before so obviously they were not gonna revisit the low because they've just closed everybody who was in profit what's the reason for them to visit the low okay and as i said i wanted to treat this one as a three session uh trade before the news because i understood that okay these guys here are in profit okay but once the news traded they just stopped hunted i realized that oh, 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 oh no they are not gonna visit this level again so when you are taking your trade you must understand and already with the knowledge of stop hunts you understand that when the equity opens it's either gonna throw a stop hunt and or else if a stop hunt is in place then it might give a pullback and go or else it might go right straight away because the stop hunt is already in place okay so understanding the stop hunt is highly 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 important we spoke about the stop hunt and its functions first of all the stop hunt sends people into the wrong direction and secondly the stop hunt does what it actually closes those who are in profit and obviously we can see here these guys were in profit before they gave this one two three push gave an m pattern 
and okay this is a pump dump with a big engulf this is perfect 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 for me put the stop uh here okay and then ride on and understand that you are gonna take your profit very very early okay okay so we are done with the gold one uh as i said i also took gj but on gj i took a loss okay i took a loss because uh let me blow this up i want to show you something okay let me show you on this time frame already uh guys uh okay i was doing my day count this was a day three okay it was roughly on wednesday okay and it turned out to be an inside day but yes it traded nice as uh as a day three okay okay it's just that there were news okay so it didn't really present a good opportunity for me because these days they are moving prices a little bit late okay so it's december anyway okay so yesterday when i came to the charts uh there's something i did okay i took a loss on this one as i already said i wait for the equity to open and the equity opened on this candle on this candle over here and we did mention that when the equity opens it's either it's gonna throw a stop hunt or if the stop hunt is already in place what are they gonna do they're gonna go right away so i waited let me go to a smaller time frame and show you when uh i waited for this okay because i want to be sure before entering a trade okay so as you can see they were sending people up 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 and this is what they gave they gave this big candle on the equity open okay and then what did they do they pulled back and engulfed you see this is a pump and this is a an engulf dump we are already inside the ema so i'm not gonna take a long okay so i took a shot uh somewhere here i took a shot somewhere here okay and my stops were just above here and i incurred a loss so obviously they came and closed me okay they closed me here so for me it's obvious it's obviously always a pump for a dump okay because i don't want to chase prices i want them to uh, to actually pump and then dump if you see here carefully you will see that there is a pin and then followed by an engulf so on this engulf that's where i took a sell okay and uh yes i include a loss uh, i think i have an image of that okay let's look at the images uh it is gj right gj yes as you can see i took a loss right here this is where i sold okay the equity opened here and i waited for them to pump and then dump with a huge engulf and already we i uh, knew that okay or uh, on the on the uh the setup was allowing for this move to go down i'll show you okay however this is where they closed me and then they kept dumping okay so uh i'm not worried about this it was a good one and it's obviously a good loss so i wasn't really really worried about this one okay i wasn't worried as you can see uh they pumped one two and then here we got a day three okay but this day three didn't really go to the top and break okay it just pumped okay so it just dumped and uh ended up giving an inside day so i wrote day three because uh here i was expecting a day three maybe they were gonna break out uh, break out and close from uh, uh last week's high but they didn't really give that okay so what they actually gave was uh this dump and already the market was broken down as you can see so i wanted to take uh this one in line with the trend okay we in line with the trend because the moment they broke the low obviously now then this uh that makes this day a day one okay so i just wanted to take in line with uh the existing trend because they had already broken the low on this day as you can see it was an inside day okay so i just wanted to take it in line okay okay so yes uh it ended up going in the right direction for roughly 90 pips but i wasn't in it because as i've already showed you i have uh had already taken a loss on this one okay so yes uh it was a good one and i lost it okay i wasn't gonna close it because of this news because these news were on the dollar so unfortunately uh they came back they pump pump up and they closed me during the 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 window uh period okay but it's okay i uh, it wasn't a big deal to me because it's still a good loss okay okay i didn't counter trend okay it's not always about counter trending that's something you must understand okay so uh it was a nice loss and yeah of course wins and losses means nothing okay so this is where i took a loss and again i took uh nasdaq yesterday 
guys, 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 I want you to see uh, the psychology, okay? The psychology behind. Let's look at Nasdaq, okay? Nasdaq dumped to give a day one, and yesterday was a day two. So what I was expecting yesterday was a day two continuation to the low, okay? As uh, already you can see, this was a huge dump that happened, and I showed you uh, the day when I took this dump. In a video I posted yesterday, if you go and watch it, you'll understand why I took it, okay? So yesterday, what really transpired was, okay, obviously, if I'm looking for a day two continuation, what I need is for them to pump. And if you can look at the sessions, they were aligned so, so, so good, okay? Because look at the session. I spoke about this in a video I posted yesterday and about these three sessions and the brings trade and whatsoever. We spoke about this in a video that uh, I posted yesterday. I'll put it up here in the description, okay? uh okay so look at this this session takes people up remember we are looking for a dump to pump on this day because it's day two continuation right so what do they do they send people up okay obviously who is in profit the guys from asia are in profit okay obviously and then the second session yes they take people up so everybody from the london session is still in profit when the u.s session opens and what do they do they violently send people up okay what i understood with this i always wait okay when there is news i told you i do one thing i wait okay and when i waited for the news remember i wait for the equity time patience pays that's what i always say i wait for the equity time which is 9 30 us time you can convert it to your own time okay so what i did is okay as i waited i understood that okay uh, they have been pulling people up throughout the day, okay? It's not every trade, though, that's going to do this. Sometimes they'll pull you up and end up going up, as we saw on the euro, okay? But uh, uh, we talked about this three session where they pull you up, they pull you up, and they pull you up. When you think the move is going strong, that's when they punish, okay? And if you look at what really happened yesterday, they came and closed people from the london session and they came obviously and scared all those from the asian session so you will be seeing this a lot whereby they pull people up they pull, pull people up and on the third session again they pull you up they want you to think it's an uptrend why because of the number three that's why i wrote this yesterday okay as i was observing this okay let me show you how i took it and i will show you everything about it okay and the psychology behind okay as you can see the news shot up and they kept going up i don't chase news okay i don't chase news i don't chase news and i don't want to open before news because you know about slippages you know about pinnings there's just a lot at stake when there is a lot of news on the calendar okay so as you can see news went up okay and i waited for the equity time let's look at where the equity opened okay i don't take things before the equity opens okay when the equity opens something fascinating happened and if you look at this one and you also look at uh at uh uh dj30 okay you will see that they gave the same behavior the equity time is more likely to do what to throw a stop hunt guys already by now you know this you know that when the equity time opens it's either if the stop hunt is already in place they are gonna pull back and continue in the direction of the trend of the trend if the stop hunt is already in place but if the stop hunt is not there already they are gonna throw a stop hunt so they usually use the first hour to pull you into one direction but if you understand you can take the first hour but with caution you have to know that if the stop hunt is not there you might be on the stop hunt okay so those are the things you must understand and uh this is where the skill of trade management comes into play you must manage your trade don't say oh, oh, oh i took it i closed i used to do that okay and uh i do sometimes okay uh but most of the time you must understand if the stop hunt is thrown that's where i can take take my first profit and leave the rest to run okay but you must understand don't say you are taking it you are closing it and you are gonna come later okay because it will do more damage than good okay uh gold did that okay gold did that uh i'll show you in a moment okay because uh this is important and i want everybody to understand this okay so if you look the equity open i was looking at this carefully looking at this okay so what did they do when they opened they op they, they when the equity opened it's 9 30 us time 3 30 here in south Af uh 4 30 here in south africa okay because it's uh actually winter I think it's winter in the USA. I don't know the season, but times have changed, okay? So, 
uh, it's now actually 4.30, okay? 4.30, okay? So when the equity opened, what did they do? They threw a stop hand to where? To the top, okay? For me, this was a three session. And even if it's a three session, I told you it's December and it's the, the week towards Christmas. Uh, the markets are just a little bit messy or not. Let me say not a little bit messy, but they are messy during this time of the year. So that's something you must understand. Okay. So as I say, take 50, get out. Okay. So here it is. They gave a stop hunt to the top. I what I, I, I usually go to a one minute time frame. Why? Because obviously, uh, if you are on a uh, 15 minute time frame, guys, 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 you can't take this thing. You're going to feel so scared. Look at the stop hunt. If you call the number of pips already is 40 pips, you can't have a stop of 40 pips. OK, so what I usually do is I go to a one minute on a one minute. That's where I get the better uh, feel. OK, let's see what's happening. Let's see what's happening. OK, fine. Uh, when you when you come here, you see already, okay? They already gave a triple a double top, okay? But that was before the equity opens, and now when the equity opens, they throw a stop hunt to the top. For those who understand the stop uh, stop hunt, maybe they took the stop hunt and they got roughly thirty something pips, okay? But for me, I waited carefully, and when they gave this pin, I understood, okay? This now is the stop hunt, okay? But I wanted to be sure, okay? So what did I do? Nothing okay do nothing wait for easy easy things that's what i've learned okay so i want the easiest one that i can get okay so when they threw a stop hunt back to the top i waited what did they do they came down and now they are making lower lows okay they are making lower lows okay and then i waited for them again they made this pump you see this pump yes i waited for it and you see they gave uh this uh doji like which has a pin at the top which obviously was a white candle but i'm not counting the number of candles in this case the most inter interesting thing for me is this engulf okay and for those who waited again they gave another push and they gave another final push okay but for me i took it on this push and i placed my stops are uh, right above here okay right above here and that's when uh this thing just went uh down to where to this level okay i took my take profit roughly around here okay roughly around here why because i already told you that it's uh it's december you want to be in and out as quick as you can as you can see this uh okay this level it's the one where i took my profit from and let me show you the trade the trade let me show you the trade okay uh it was on nasdaq you see i took it here it's nasdaq okay i took it here okay i waited for them to pump and give that last pump and when they engulf this is where i took my my cell and this is where i closed my cell okay why 50 bibs because the markets are now choppy and if you don't understand you are just gonna make profit and give it back as you can see they literally came back okay yes of course they were they didn't close me but they could have okay they came back and gave a very big move to the downside but i didn't care take get out because if you don't get out you're gonna give all your profits back to the market okay so i didn't care but they okay of course later they went 190 pips but i don't care i got out with my 50 so understanding the equity open and the stop hunt is highly highly important on this day i was expecting a day two continuation so uh it's december i don't want to hold all the way down as you can see somebody will say hey you are lying it's because these things have already played out that's why now you are saying you took it and closed it hey why did you close it here okay guys i've just showed you the thing that i took yesterday okay and uh everybody can really really see it okay here it is i took it here as well and all the way down my stops were here they did push up again but they didn't come to my stop why because once they've trapped they're gonna go back trap trap and they are most likely not gonna take those who are trapped out already okay so let's continue well uh, one last time let's go uh to another one that i took i took uh uh so obviously i took th uh three and i lost one okay i lost the gj1 and i took uh usd jpy usd jpy okay let's look at usd jpy okay uh okay 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 they went up 
okay to this level they bounced on the level and they were coming down chances are they are gonna be coming back to this level okay and when they break here obviously now you can see that okay uh the previous day or we can say this day was a peak formation okay this day was a peak formation inside there and then this is roughly a day two okay why because now they have broken the low this is the most important thing we talk about when they break the low of the previous day okay this is what becomes important and already we have this level and we have this level so chances are if they are gonna fall they are gonna fall to this level i want to i will also show you how to actually follow this kind of templates okay because this is highly 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 important okay this is highly important okay uh this is a week where they start by taking you up and then slowly they take you down and we don't know what they're gonna do today they can continue going down or else they can just uh punish but we will see based on the behavior but today it's a day three so we will see what they will do okay okay so guys uh look at what happened this is so fascinating for me okay this is so fascinating because it's not always about stop hunt as you can see on an hourly time frame this is where they are bouncing now on the ema and we are obviously inside the ema so you don't want to be counter trending the ema okay you don't want to be counter trending the ema and now you understand the levels so let me show you where i took this one okay i showed you okay already we want to go in line with uh with the trend okay so uh this is uh usdjpy obviously yes it moves in the in the in the in the us session but when i came to the london one thing that caught my interest is the level okay now we are operating between these two levels okay and they are highly 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 important that's why i say when you put in the work when you go and back test and spend more time on your charts you'll get to understand a lot of things that you won't understand in a single video okay okay because uh no video will make you good but it is in putting the work now you will understand the levels when you go and back test you will you back test and see what happens on all these levels okay now we are working here on both these levels the market is already broken down we have broken the low to show that now we are down, we are moving down okay so uh they broke the low they pumped to where they closed everybody from this session okay they closed everybody from the asian session and then what did they do to the level they pin engulfed the level they pin engulfed the level after the equity has opened the equity open right here on this candle oh this is so beautiful this is what we talk about every single day okay and by now i believe you understand the stop hunt okay guys 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 i want to do a live with all of you where we can interact okay and talk together i recently had some problems with the software that i i was using so i believe now uh, I, uh i've got uh things sorted out okay so here's the thing you see when the equity opens when the equity opens, when the equity opens, it's opening here. They are going to throw a stop hunt or else if the stop hunt is already in place, they are going to pull back and move in the direction or else they're going to just blow off in in, uh, in, uh, uh, in line with the ongoing trend. Okay, so you must understand that it's not always about counter trending. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, the equity opens here okay we are above the ema right now on a smaller time frame but already we know that the move is broken down okay i showed you on a bigger time frame okay so uh let's see what really really transpired okay let's see what really really transpired what did they do when the equity opened they came and stop hunted people okay they came and stop hunted people okay they came and stop a through stop hunt not only just a stop hunt okay not only just a stop hunt uh, okay let's go back you will see it's not just only a uh, a stop hunt as you can see not just a stop hunt okay but it's uh it's also uh let's talk, let's show it here it's a pin in golf what are they engulfing on a five minute time frame if you see they engulf the low but it was more visible on a 15 minute time frame you see they stop hunted they pinned and engulf this level which was the low of the previous day okay and this is where i got in 
I got in right here. Okay, I got in right here and I drove uh, all the way down because we had news on the dollar and this is a currency that includes the dollar. Okay, so I took rough i think i took 40 40 pips on this one okay yes i took 40 pips on this one because i don't want to be there during the news guys you must understand something about the news even if you have a good setup if you enter the news and you lose you can't complain you only have yourself to blame why first of all you can't predict the news you don't know which value the news are gonna bring okay you don't know which value the news are gonna bring news will either act as a catalyst which uh, speeds up a, a, a setup that's already there or else news will ruin a setup that's already there so that is something you should understand you can never predict news so it's best to wait for the news to trade then you can re-enter up to the news already if you're in profit you can lock some profits and then just uh, leave another position maybe if you open three positions you can leave another position so that uh even if the news can go back and close you already you got paid by the first position that you closed or the first two that you closed okay you will understand these things when you go back to the charts and actually put in the work okay there is nothing hard with this okay there is nothing difficult with this so i literally took my profits somewhere here and when the news happened i I didn't come to revisit this trade. Uh, let's see the trade that I took on this one. As you can see, uh, I took it here. As you can see, okay, uh, this is on a 15 minute uh, uh, on a 15 minute time frame. This is where the EMA closed inside. I took it and I closed it right here. Okay, as it was, uh, as you can see, now they gave this candle the inside ball. But my main reason for closing was mainly because we were moving towards the news. Yes, there was still a lot of time, but I closed it here. Okay, it's uh, it's December. You must understand these things. Okay, lock in profit. For me, I took it here when they gave as you can see they were now going side bars okay and then they just gave this pin so that's where i closed my trade so guys uh these are the ones that i took and i also shared with you the psychology behind because it's not about bragging and that's not the most important thing the most important thing is actually understanding that that when the equity opens they are gonna throw a stop hunt or if the stop hunt is in place they might pull back back into the stop hunt uh, that is already in place even though they don't take it out and then they continue in direction with the trend or else you must understand that they will blow off in the, in, 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 in the direction of the trend, okay? So always understand and wait for stop hunts, okay? And uh, the reason I took this one during the London session is because already they were at the levels and they just drew a stop hunt that I understood well, okay? So these are the things that actually uh, made me take this ones, okay? So yes it's three beautiful ones and one beautiful loss and i am not worried about anything so i will see today what really happens and guys are uh, talking about being objective let's look at one last uh uh trade okay i was following uh this trade carefully okay as you can see i was following it but i said be objective okay because uh this one has been going down for a for the longest time the same applying to usd cad okay but uh already you know that there are weeks where they can go down 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 and then today they can punish or they can continue down but let's look and see if okay uh we are towards the london session okay which is obviously the equity time for me it's gonna open at 10 30 south african time so i'll wait for it and i uh, will see are we gonna get a pullback then a continuation or else is it still gonna keep on going down we will see what happens when uh the session starts okay it's december and during this time of the year please 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 observe the behaviors of what they are doing okay ga moves well in asia unfortunately i didn't wake up but already they've given a beautiful uh, 50 pips today, okay? Beautiful 50 pips, okay? So yesterday, obviously, there are people who try to counter trend this, okay? There are people who try to counter trend this. I follow it each and every day and observe its behavior, okay? 
so for those who follow this i will who counter trended this hoping it's gonna go up i will say be objective okay already if you look at this trade right before uh okay for people who took it early yes it gave a nice uh nice profit but look at this we had a stop hunt before the us opened let's go down to it and this is the last one i'm showing you okay ah uh, yes we are moving towards a new session it's okay okay le let's see what transpired yesterday for those years who took maybe this engulf they are understanding what was happening okay you are taking it either back to the level or back to the high because if it's gonna throw a stop hunt obviously it's gonna close those who are in profit so yes for those who took it uh, at the last hour of london they got the profit as it was sending people down sending people down sending people down and then pinning golf okay this was a very good entry for those who took it at this time they got their 50 pips okay but let's look what really happened afterwards okay so as you can see okay these guys were in profit okay because the london session here didn't take them out up until the window time which is still the part of the london session it went and took them out and obviously the moment it took them up they came traded back to the opening price which is a significant level they traded back to this level and they just pumped and engulfed it okay pumped and engulfed this engulfed that's why you see i put a box here okay i put a box here because now i understand that okay now they've locked this level this is potentially a lock on this level okay so uh you know we always wait for the equity to open okay we always wait for equity time or else i wait for equity time or sometimes i know they can move it uh uh it's a uh, it's either gonna be at uh if it's us it's 9 30 or 8 30 and i mostly active during the us session okay so uh when the session open let's look at the session opening okay the session opened on this candle right here and already you can see when the session opens right here we are inside the ema we are inside the ema so obviously you're not gonna counter trend this we already have a stop hunt in place which was highly visible on a one hour time frame as you can see this is where i put the money because these guys were in profit so on this day okay the people from uh, the first session they pinned them they engulfed them already on a one hour time frame so you can see that okay you don't counter trend such a big move okay when the equity opens it's either it's gonna if the stop hunt is in place it might pull back but in this case obviously they are coming from a pullback which was obviously uh, accompanied by this huge engulf obviously you see you can enter on this candle okay because it's after a pump you are chasing nothing you are taking the dumping part okay pump dump okay if you understood or else still again if you waited for them to come to a level you see this is at the low what did they do they pinned and they engulfed the low this is a significant level so already they locked they engulfed the first level now they're engulfing the second level so obviously even for people who took it here i think they got roughly 40 something pips but for people who understand the equity opening time it's either they're gonna blow off in the direction of the trend or else they're gonna pull back into the the trend to stop hunt that's if they haven't done that already or else they're gonna throw a stop hunt okay so in this case obviously we were coming from here okay so if you understood pump dump that's what we always talk about even in yesterday's video we talked about that okay and already we were in a move that was going down even the one hour time frame confirmed that so 50 pips was very easy on this day okay so guys uh be objective and understand the picture that the markets are telling you okay so we already know that okay sometimes they can pull you into one direction then punish that's uh that's that's most likely to happen and let me just show you something before i end this one because i'm done okay if you come to a blank if you come to a blank blank template okay if you come to a blank template and you remove everything and you just remain with the weekly separators that's where you will 
be able to learn about the weekly templates okay if you go and back test maybe on 10 pairs and you take it maybe three months back okay that's where you'll start understanding the weekly template this is very easy 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 and it paints a nice picture for the weekly template okay let me just show you okay let me just show you there are weeks where they will take you up uh i mean okay they consolidate and then they take you all the way up and then they can punish okay it's all about pulling people pulling people if you see they pull people they pull people they pull people then punished okay even on this week itself they took people up and then they came on tuesday they closed everybody okay and then for those who want to understand monday and tuesdays as uh as i'll make a video about this okay but uh you will learn a lot about the weekly template how to expect the weekly templates if you go to a blank template like this make sure you have the days selected and you have uh the daily separator that's the only indicator it's in the description and it's very very much free okay that's the only indicator you will need as you can see this is monday uh this is monday this is tuesday okay okay this is the consolidation of the week and then what do they do they break out of it stop hunt everybody that's when they fall okay so if you start studying this pattern you will understand the weekly template then there are weeks when they will just uh let's see monday and tuesday uh let's see uh that's this is where you get to learn about uh the 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 the, the weekly template itself okay monday tuesday they consolidate and then they hit the stops on a friday so you will understand more of this if when you back test you see uh roughly this is uh okay this is okay this is monday tuesday okay this is monday tuesday stop hunt then they go and stop hunt on the other side okay so uh guys some things are are for you to back test okay some things are for you to to learn and to study go and spend most time on your charts you will understand this thing okay you'll understand this is the week whereby they took people up monday tuesday then they broke down continue down continue down okay we will see what happens okay so the same applies to any currency this is the week where they started by pumping people up as you can see it started last week but on this week itself they pumped people up and now they are dumping okay so it's always a pump pump and a dump take prices up take prices down okay it's always about a pump and dump as uh as steve and stacy always say pump and dump okay so it's always about pump and dump okay this is the week whereby on monday yes they send people to the wrong direction we spoke about this and that's when they just go down and they punish on a thursday okay so you'll understand these things this is a week whereby they just okay 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 uh if you mark out monday and tuesday you'll understand i don't want to i don't want to dis cast this in detail i might in one of my videos but i want you guys to go and back test and understand these things when you actually go and back test you there's a lot of information you'll come up you will actually come out with okay because it's gonna be hard yes it's about learning from somebody and then back testing discovering the hidden things and applying them by yourself okay that's when you get to get the best uh the best setup or to refine the setups to work for you because that's the most important thing even if you learn from somebody at the end of the day you're gonna have to work on it refine it and make it work for you okay as you can see this is the week or monday tuesday it's a control consolidation they break out and then they punish on a friday so you just have to understand the templates okay this is what we talk about when we say okay sometimes they will start by sending you up 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 and then punish down 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 and then punish you can learn all this information from here if you think this one is confusing you can even turn on the line chart okay the line chart will make things easy where you see okay they send people up okay and then they give a huge dump on a wednesday okay so you will understand the, the the weekly template they send people up and that's when they punish using the following three days 
okay so this is where you will be able to understand the weekly template because people don't understand even when you uh, try to draw that okay in a week they can do this this and that no that information is generated from the chart itself and it's in spending time on the charts where you will understand what they do on weeks and believe me the more time you spend the more you're going to get used to the templates and whenever a template is building you're going to understand it much more easier and much more better and that's the goal at the end of the day yesterday i shared in a video all the opportunities that are currently uh shooting out in this industry as you already saw i shared with you on the on the five euros where if you are good and you are consistent you actually get a monthly salary okay and they upscale your account without you having to buy an additional account so you you can see there are many many opportunities and the only thing left is for you to become best and to learn and to learn and to learn the same thing i do every day i learn every day okay that's what i do every day because the goal is to become better and better and better and it's not something that's going to happen overnight it's something that is going to take a lot of time back testing a lot of time studying a lot of time listening to podcasts a lot of time reading so it's just a lot of time okay so if you are willing to put in the work then everything will work out but if you are if you just want to watch get the setups and then take them as a uh, as 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 you want them to be perfect okay it's not gonna happen because there's variation and already uh take the statistics which is 90 percent uh 90 to 95 percent of people are failing take that as motivation that's why we have a lot of problems popping up every day because they know they're gonna be profitable because 90 percent of the guys are actually gonna end up losing so with that statistics if you understand that you will know that this is the hardest industry it has been proven that doctors fail uh, pilots fail and even the most uh uh smart people fail newton failed in the uh, isaac newton failed in this industry uh massively so he was one of the most uh uh, smart people in the world okay so this is not about being smart this is about putting in the work and then rinse and repeating every day okay so when you put in the work that's when you'll understand when is the stop hunt being thrown how is the stop hunt being thrown and when you're on the trade you already understand that okay a stop hunt will come usually after the equity time are you in the stop hunt if you are in the stop hunt you must uh, actually uh, be in and out quick and that's uh something that is important and even when now i'm saying okay december's uh mostly this week tends to be a little bit choppy is because i already experienced it okay i already experienced it uh, previously and now i already know that okay uh during this time this is what happens most of the people are gonna feel like fools most of the people will feel like they don't have setups their setups are nothing okay but it is because it is uh this time of the year and you already know that most people have closed and yeah I don't know if it's the algorithm that is left uh, to mess up and make things uh, choppy. We don't know about that. Okay, so today it's a Friday. Less news and it's a beautiful day. Okay, and I wish you all the best. Just uh, remember that it's about being patient. I wait for the equity time. I don't get in before the news. Okay, some people want to get the news, but it's not. It's just not. Uh, it's not scalable. Okay, you can't build on guessing news because today you're gonna win. And then tomorrow you're gonna be slipped or else you're gonna be pinned into so it's just not uh sustainable okay so if it's not sustainable if it's not a rinse and repeat then i don't want to be part of it okay i've done that guys i've done that i've guessed news sometimes yes you win but you find out that it went 100 pips but you were only credited for 30 pips because of the spread and the slippage and whatsoever there are crazy things that happen during the news so i don't guess the news i don't want to guess the news if you guess the news and get it congratulations but personally for me i don't want to guess the news okay so this is it and i wish you all the best for those who are new kindly subscribe and for those who are part of the family comment like if this video helped you for the sake of the algorithm and uh, for others to get this content i wish you a blessed day thank you